Hey guys, it's Sussports, and today we're going to be unboxing and building a Wampus. The Wampus is a 60% Alice style keyboard designed by a community member named Zoo. The keyboard was packed in a wooden crate with two compartments. The bottom was a carrying case and the top was a drawer filled with parts. In the drawer was a bag full of stabilizers, cleaning cloths, OLED kits which you'll see later, some keycap rulers, bump ons, o-rings, and screws, and some switches that were lubed and filmed. Also included were four black PCBs and one white PCB. Inside the carrying case were some glass wipes, and wrapped up there were a bunch of plates. There were about 7 total FR4 plates, 2 polycarbonate plates, 1 palm 3 quarters plate, and 1 blue aluminum plate. Lastly in the carrying case was the E-White Wampus with a black plated steel weight. The stabilizer pack included both C3 and Duroc V1 stabs. I decided to go with the Duroc V1s. I lubed the housings with Crytox 205 Grade Zero and the wires with XHT BDZ. After all the stabs were finished, I tested out the PCB to make sure it was working. The front of the PCB had a cute bongo cat design as well as the back side. Then I screwed in all the stabilizers to the PCB. Although I wanted to use the polycarbonate plate just because it had the bongo cat design on the plate, I decided to go with the aluminum plate which is my personal favorite plate material. The switches are Gateron Ink Blacks V2 lubed with Crytox 205 Grade Zero and filmed with Desky Films. Next I put the switches in the plate to test out the stabilizers and then proceeded to push in the rest of the switches in. Next we went to soldering. I thought that the internals of the keyboard were done beautifully and just wanted to spend some time to show you all how it looks. I absolutely love how the internal weight looks with the grooves or wave pattern.
The flat cable is pushed into the daughter board and then soldered onto the OLED. Next, after sticking the screen onto the case, place the other side of the flat cable into the PCB and proceed to mount the plate onto the top case. Zoo provided some O-rings to burger mount it, but I personally love the feeling and sound of traditional top mount. After screwing the case together, I went ahead and took off my keycaps from my Rukia and moved them over to the Wampus. The keycaps are GMK Ursa and it's one of the few sets I have the spacebar compatibility with. Zoo went ahead and pre-flashed the PCB with the firmware of a Susboard's Bongo Cat animation that he made. It seems to interact the faster you type and also does a cool camera flash animation. Be sure to check out Zoo's website in the description. This keyboard will be touring around California to a bunch of keyboard streamers to rebuild and try out. There will be 25 units raffled off later this year for 550 USD. Shout out to Zoo for giving me the opportunity to build such an amazing keyboard.